Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Cooking with Dave. I'm Dave. I'm the world's greatest chef. I know that I am because it says so right here on my apron. Anyway, today, I'm cooking something that I like to throw together once in a while. It is called Fried Chicken Noodles with Alfredo Sauce. How can you go wrong? It's going to be wonderful. And just the boneless, skinless breast. And I'm going to spice them up so we can fry them. We spice them up. We use a little garlic powder. Italian seasoning. A little onion powder. A little pepper. And a little salt. Then we do that on both sides. I'll flip them over and do it on the other side. All right, now all I have to do is uh, roll my chicken in some flour, stick it in my oil, fry it up. It's gonna be wonderful. Now that my oil is pretty quiet, stopped popping and crackling, I can see this ready. I take my chicken, I just roll the chicken into some flour, and just set it right inside the pan. Okay, just about a minute or so into the cooking. I want to just check it, make sure everything looks good, make sure my oil looks all right, stays up the temperature. Now, I've got it on high. I heat my oil on high when I start. I'm going to go ahead and crank it down like one notch and put it almost high, just right below high, because I don't want to burn my oil while I'm frying. As long as it's frying, I know my oil is hot. Okay, we've been frying about five minutes or so. We have been frying about five minutes or so. I'm going to give them a little flip. Take a look at them. The little pieces are looking good. Big piece looking good. Getting a little bit black. We don't want any black. We're going to make sure we turn them. That's nice. We don't get any black on our chicken. We're going to put this in our Alfredo. We don't want any black up in our Alfredo. We keep turning them. You know, they cook pretty quick. Uh, Boneless, skinless breast. Probably taking me about 20, 25 minutes to cook them. But I know they're complete when my my oil simmers down a little bit. So once all that moisture starts cooking out of the, the chicken, the grease, the oil, will stop bubbling so much. When it stops bubbling so much, then I'll know, hey, my chicken is done. Okay, I flipped them over a couple, three times looking good. The little pieces, they're starting to float. Pretty much that means they're done. The little pieces like that, they start floating. It means they're done. Go ahead and take the ones up. They look like they're golden brown on all sides. Go ahead and take up the little pieces. We don't want to overcook our chicken. We don't want our chicken to be dry. So we want to make sure it's going to stay good. These two guys here take a little longer. All right. We're just about done. You can see what I'm talking about. The oil is a lot less. I'm going to take this chicken out. I know it's done. Because my oil is quieter than it was when I put it in. It's nice and quiet. Now something that a lot of people don't know is you don't want to take out a batch of chicken and just stick another batch right in. You want to wait 30 seconds, a minute, let that oil come back to temperature. Because when you take out, out a batch of chicken, you took the heat out with it. And that oil actually reduced its heat when you took that food out. So you let it come back to temperature. Notice the start. It's working. Getting back to hot again. 30 seconds, minute maybe. Make sure that you're back to temperature. Now if you wanted to, you could say, hey, I had some fried chicken for dinner. And you're ready to go. There's fried chicken for everybody. But we're not done yet. I want to cube all this. All we're going to do is take this chicken, throw it on top of some egg noodles with some Alfredo sauce, and call it dinner. So we need to have hot chicken. So don't let it cool off too much, or you cube it up, have it ready for your sauce and your noodles. 
you want to try to cube them up at least maybe a bite sized piece something you could put on your fork just chop it all up that chicken tastes good throughout it tastes like those spices throughout those spices get into the oil and then oil gets into your chicken and man the flavors are just throughout each piece of chicken that you bite into you just cannot beat the flavor okay now let me show you how we're going to make our alfredo sauce for our fried chicken and egg noodles it's going to be wonderful <clears throat> we're going to take us a whole stick of butter and put it right in the pan okay i like to use my stainless steel pan for this because i can stir it and i don't worry about scratching it up or nothing now once my butter melts i'm going to take some sweet onions, some sweet red onion, a little flavor, put it in there. Not too much. That's probably about a quarter onion. And then I'm going to take some finely chopped up garlic, just about two teaspoons worth, and put it in there. I'm going to stir it up. Let that cook just a little bit. Now remember, I'm only using medium heat, so I'm not trying to burn nothing. Just want to get those flavors in there. A little garlic, a little onion, and my butter. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of pepper. Bam. A little bit of salt, a little pepper. Stir that up. Let those onions start sweating in there, getting that flavor in there. Okay, I can smell that. Oh, it smells wonderful. The butter and the onions and the garlic. A little salt and pepper. Man, that smells good. Okay. Now I'm going to take some whipping cream and just pour some whipping cream in there. Bam. I'm going to add a little more cream than that. I want a little more cream, a little less butter. So I'm going to come back for some more cream. I want this to mostly be about the cream, not about the butter. So I'm going to make sure that I add enough cream to it so it's more of a white sauce with some butter in it and not some butter with some white sauce in it. <clears throat> Alright. Now, we're going to have this on medium heat, and we're going to bring this thing to a simmer, and we're going to simmer it, actually, for about five minutes. Along with that, I'm going to add a little parsley, not a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to save some, and I'm going to add some parsley to it also whenever I plate it. I've been simmering it now about, I don't know, four or five minutes. Uh, it's just now starting to look like it's going to thicken up a little bit, which is good. That's what we want it to do. And I'm just going to come back and I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Not a whole lot, about a half a cup, about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Stir that up in there, let it cook. And you can go ahead and turn the heat off at this point. And boom, you have yourself a nice Alfredo sauce. Now if you want it a little thicker, you can just put some more Parmesan cheese in it. Uh, you can use less butter. It'd be a little thicker, but that's about what we want right there. That's Okay, let me show you how we plate this. What we do is we take some egg noodles. I cook some egg noodles. Just put them in the bottom of our pasta bowl. And just put some chicken, some fried chicken. Fried chicken is still hot. Then we're going to take our Alfredo sauce. And we're just going to put it right on top of all that. But bam, have all that with the noodles and with the chicken looking good looking wonderful has all the onions and garlic in it oh man that sauce is so special the sauce is pretty much what makes this meal then we top that off with a little more parsley on top give us a little color make it look pretty give us a little fresh smell that parsley smells so wonderful so fresh it smells green it makes you feel like you're eating healthy when you're not all right then we're gonna take a little more parmesan cheese and just sprinkle some parmesan cheese right up on top of them and man unless you want more cheese boom that is ready to go okay today we cooked some fried chicken with egg noodles with some alfredo sauce oh it's good something i forgot one. to do when i was plating it so i took a little bacon crumbled it up and put me a little bacon right on top of all that just give me a little something extra flavor something there for me got to love it can't beat it put a little bacon on top of it it's gonna be one I'm Ryan, the world's greatest chef. Says so, right here on my apron. Y'all have a great day.